All right, friends, let's talk about Revolut. As you know, Revolut is actually one of my favorite apps that I use every single day for my everyday spending. There's so many great benefits. And actually, when I started my investing journey, it also started with Revolut because they make it so simple to start buying your first stocks. And I always loved the app for that. And that's really what got me into investing. And while over the years, I've actually transitioned away from Revolut and went to Interactive Brokers, which is really my broker of choice, I've always been recommending Revolut, especially for beginners, because I really think it makes it so easy and it's so user-friendly to start on your investing journey. However, a few days ago, I got an email about upcoming changes with regards to Revolut stock trading in the future. And honestly, if you live in Europe and use Revolut stock trading, then you really need to watch this video because I genuinely think with those upcoming changes, it's time for you to change your stock broker of choice because those changes are really not favorable for you especially. And I think you really need to be aware of this. But of course, ultimately, you make your own choice. But personally, if I still had some money in Revolut trading, which I don't have, I would definitely be transferring my funds out of Revolut as soon as possible. Right, so let's have a look into the email and I'm gonna run you through and show you why that really matters. So basically, this is the email obviously from Revolut, got a few days ago. And as they said, we're moving the EU stock trading entity. So at the face of it, it doesn't really sound so bad. That's obviously following the Brexit where they have to separate the entities. They have one UK entity now and a European one. And in the past few years, it was kind of, you know, gray area, but now they're really gonna have two separate entities for the stock trading division. And I'm only talking about stock trading. I'm still gonna use Revolut because I still think it has so much great features and functionality and I love the platform. So I'm really not going against Revolut, but specifically about the stock trading feature they offer. So as they say over here, starting from today, the beginning, the process of moving stock trading customers and residents of the EEA, basically within the EU, to their new Europe stock trading entity, which is called Revolut Securities Europe UAB, or short RSUAB, which is regulated by the Bank of Lithuania. Now, for some of you, you might already have read warning flags reading about Lithuania, but honestly, I can assure you, Lithuania is really a thriving country. In fact, myself, I live in Lithuania, even though I'm from Germany, I lived all across the world, but now many years in Lithuania, and I really love this country, and it's quickly becoming one of the fintech capitals in Europe. Many of the big banks, crypto exchanges, stock traders, they're all based in Lithuania because they have very favorable conditions for those fintech companies. So really rest assured, it's a very safe, very transparent, very regulated, country so from that point of view everything is fine and nothing to worry about so obviously then they talk about what you need to do in order to keep your account if you already have funds there so you would obviously have to provide and reconfirm your tax residency providing new KYC document and the W8 ban form this is actually a good one because this way you can lower your withholding tax from US based stocks so in case you want to stay with them even after watching this video, obviously that's your choice, but then you might be asked to resupply those documents. And for that, in fact, they say you will have at least 60 days, two months to choose. So really nice advance notice from Revolut side because some of the companies and apps I used in the past, they say, okay, we transition next week, so get it done before. So they really give you more than ample amount of notice before, which is good. Then of course they address the fact what will happen if you don't furnish those documents or don't want to transition, then you will have 120 days to basically sell your position or transfer it out of the portfolio. Otherwise, they will close your account, probably liquidate your assets, and then obviously transfer those proceeds into your Revolut account. Then we get into the legal matter, obviously saying that Revolut Trading LTD or RTL for short, will no longer apply. And for UK clients, there shouldn't be really any changes. It's really more about European clients and they will all be transferred to the European entity. And then we come to the contractual relationship and this is where it starts to get interesting. So actually when you buy stocks on Revolut, it actually goes to the main stockbroker, which is Drive Wealth LLC, which is based in the US. And that's actually really good. And I'll show you afterwards because you can use that functionality to transfer your shares out of Revolut. And that's really a cool part, but just know that this is basically still staying in place. You will still be with Drive LLC, but the composition of it will be changed. And I'll show you in a second why that matters. So before the migration or those changes, you had an individual relationship with Drive Wealth LLC in the US, which is really good. And that obviously allows you to make your own decisions. But Revolut was kind of the middleman, so to say. And they were also responsible for safekeeping your US shares. And most of the shares on Revolut are US based. So that was always good to know. However, after the migration for all EU clients, you will have a single contract relationship with basically the EU entity of Revolut and they will become responsible for the execution of your orders and safekeeping of your US shares. This entity will continue to use DriveWealth for both of these services. However, because of the change, you will no longer have a contractual relationship with DriveWealth. Now basically Revolut controls everything 
in your DriveWealth account. And therefore your DriveWealth customer brokerage account will end once the migration is complete. And that's really quite bad actually. And I'll show you in a second why that is. So even more details on that. Basically, previously you had your own individual brokerage account with DriveWealth. But once again, after the change, unfortunately, only the EU entity of Revolut, this one over here, will have one brokerage account with DriveWealth. They call it the Omnibus account. So basically all individual Revolut accounts go into that European entity and that entity has a relationship with DriveWealth. So it kind of is like a pyramid. While previously you were able to access DriveWealth yourself, now you have to go through Revolut. And it doesn't sound so bad, right? But once you read the fine print, it really is quite bad actually. So then they talk about the safekeeping of US shares and previously obviously DriveWealth was responsible for doing that. And they do so by segregating US shares in a separate custody account, which is not accessible to DriveWealth creditors in the event of a DriveWealth insolvency. So that's always very good. You wanna have a broker that segregates the funds. Basically, if they go bust, those creditors cannot come after them and use your funds to repay themselves. Basically, that's a separate entity and your funds are separate. So basically later on, you could just transfer your funds elsewhere, but they're gonna be safe and secured and insured. After the migration, the same is still true. Basically, they're still gonna segregate the assets and the EU entity of Revolut will have access to those separate accounts. So that's good. So in theory, that sounds good. The same principle applies, but now we come to the crucial point. And here it is, the changes in compensation for loss of US shares in the case of drive wealth insolvency. So the great thing by having a contractual relationship with drive wealth, basically your shares in the US held with drive wealth in the case drive wealth would become insolvent and your shares cannot be returned to you. They are actually protected by the SIPC, which is the Securities Investors Protection Corporation, basically safeguarding investors funds. And they would guarantee to repay you up to $500,000, half a million. So that's quite an amount, probably more than most of us have in our investment brokerage. So for me, that was always very reassuring. Of course, obviously they're just highlighting that they're not protecting you in the decline in the market value of your shares, that's normal. But having that protection up to half a million for me was really, really good to know. And this is the crucial differentiation here because now basically the same principle applies. Drive wealth and your funds are separate, that's all good. If drive wealth was to go bust, then those funds are still protected up to half a million. However, the key differentiation is now that protection only applies to the EU entity of Revolut. And basically this protection will apply to the entire holdings of that entity, that omnibus. And you as an investor will not be entitled to individual compensation in that case. And as they write over here, you would get significantly less than you would have before the migration. Just imagine the European entity of Revolut has 1 million customers in their account using the trading functionality. Now all their funds together must be millions and millions are all together only secured up to 500,000. So technically if drive wealth goes bust, you actually might end up only getting back a couple of euros for all your holdings in that case. Now it might be unlikely, but then again, we've recently seen so many unlikely things happening. So I'm really not willing to take that risk. And the second big change refers to the safekeeping of your cash. Now previously you had Revolut Bank UIB responsible for the safekeeping of the money that you used to purchase US shares because basically that's a separate investing account from your usual Revolut account that you use for everyday spending. And after the migration once again the European entity, the new European entity of Revolut will become responsible for safekeeping of the money. But that leads to yet another problem because previously you were protected by the Revolut Bank UIB up to 100,000 euros. However, now after the migration, it's only protected up to 22,000 euros. So significantly less once again. Now, as I understand though, that only pertains to your money sitting on your investment account and probably, or at least I hope you won't have more than 22,000 euros sitting there uninvested and not actually accumulating any interest on it. So probably that's not so relevant because it affects least people, but that's yet another consideration to keep in mind. So yes, at first, when I read it the first time, I thought, well, not really a big deal. But then when I read through it once again, I really understood that basically all your funds are now technically not secured anymore. Because if you share that protection and insurance from the SIPC with all the other hundreds of thousands, if not millions of clients using Revolut investing in Europe, and that's protected altogether only up to half a million, technically your money is fully exposed and fully at risk. So as much as I love Revolut, I can only urge you, if you still have funds in your Revolut trading account and live in Europe, please, do yourself a favor and get your funds out of there before it's too late. Because once you migrated, your money is at risk. And as I understand, it will be also impossible for you to transfer it out. Because right now, you actually have a way to transfer your funds out of Revolut without selling it. Because that's the worst thing when you actually have to sell all your stocks 
pay the tax on it and then repurchase them later on in a different broker. I made a whole video how you can get your funds out of Revolut and move them to Interactive Brokers, which is my broker of choice, and a link to it at the end of this video. But in theory, if for example, you sign up with Interactive Brokers, as I said, my broker of choice, click on transfer and pay, and then transfer positions and then select transfer assets into your interactive brokers accounts then you can select the region which obviously is in the united states where drive wealth is located and from here you can choose which method you prefer but usually ACATS acats is the most common one and then go ahead choose your broker put drive wealth and you see that over here popping up and then obviously go through put your account number etc and from here interactive brokers will actually initiate the process of transferring your shares and positions with drive wealth over to interactive brokers. There's gonna be a small fee to it and it may take a couple of days, but definitely a much better way than actually selling your shares in Revolut and then repurchasing them in your new broker of choice. So definitely do this now before it's too late because as I understand, after the period is up, you will not be able to do this anymore because you don't have a direct contractual relationship with DriveWealth anymore and you wouldn't be able to do such a transfer anymore. And the only option from then would be to basically sell your entire shares in Revolut and then repurchasing them with another broker. As I mentioned before, in this video over here, I'm gonna run you through the entire process of moving your funds from Revolut over to Interactive Brokers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.